Hey and welcome to another video. So in this video it's all about propylene carbonate which is an excellent solvent which is liquid at room temperature, has a very high boiling point, does a very low boiling pressure and can be used for example to recover lithium from lithium salts like lithium chloride using electrolysis in it. So it's actually useful to get alkaline metals. So industrial it's made by reacting propylene oxide with carbon dioxide, but at home it can be made from propylene glycol and urea, which is a very common fertilizer. And below I have written down the ratios and we using zinc oxide as catalyst to drive off the ammonia more efficiently. Make sure that you've calcinated it, otherwise it might not work, but you can do this with a blue torch. And all this has to be refluxed for this exact time span, if you do it too short, you won't have enough propylene carbonate produced. If you do it too long, it will be contaminated with polymerization of urea. And the reflux makes the temperature pretty accurate. So here you see the zinc oxide. Mine is a bit yellow because of iron, but that's not a problem. And I add all to a one liter round bottom flask, no flat bottom flask, it's actually. And it's pretty useful to have some ground glassware here. Now I'm measuring out the propylene glycol, which is a pretty viscous liquid, and it can be also used to seal the joints, which actually works quite well. So here we have everything added together, the urea, the glycol, and the zinc oxide. And at this point, the stuff does not dissolve in each other, but at higher temperatures it will. Here you see my setup. Here you see the aspirator pump, so this is creating a slight vacuum inside my reflux chamber to suck off the ammonia more efficiently. As you see everything is already dissolved and I added some boiling stones to get out the ammonia more efficiently. So these boiling stones really work well. Here is boiling on full blast, I have to say, and the trap is filled with sulfuric acid to get rid of the ammonia vapors and it's just an aspirator pump so it's not really that much of technical equipment you need here. And finally it's distilled, so no fractional distillation, just short path. But because of the high boiling point difference this is pretty okay to get pretty clean separation. And that's the final yield of one run as described. It's actually a bit more than 100 milliliters so i hope you enjoyed and thanks for watching